The plant behind me is in the family Cornaceae, the genus Cornus, and the specific epithet is Racemosa. Cornus Racemosa is the species name, and this is gray dogwood. Gray dogwood is primarily a shrub or more of a bushy species. It can reach heights of maybe 15 to 20 feet, and it happens to be in a more clonal grouping, meaning that instead of seeing a single stem, you'll see lots of little stems, usually sharing a similar root system. Let's take a closer look at some of the identifying characteristics. Here you can see that dogwoods tend to be oppositely arranged in their twigs and buds. So here we have two leaves coming out opposite each other on the twig. And at the center of the, or at the base of the leaf, you'll see little tiny buds. The newest growth also tends to have some color. On the gray dogwood, the very newest growth starts as a greenish in color, but may redden up as just a little bit and then turn into a brown color as it moves into the fall. Here you can see some remaining fruit starts out as green and it's born on these little green stalks. This green stalk here will turn bright red as we move into the fall and they have more sunlight that hits them. This will be the only part that is a bright red, this little fruit stalk that remains, will be the only part that is bright red on gray dogwood. Here's a fairly typical leaf of many dogwoods, so leaves alone can be difficult for dogwoods. It's a simple leaf. It has an entire margin, meaning the edge, there's no ridges or teeth on it. And it has a veination pattern, if you can see it, that comes off the midrib and then arcs and follows more or less the margin of the leaf. Usually a nice green color and then lighter on the underside, which is typical of many trees. If you take a leaf of a dogwood and you fold it in half and tear just very gently across the seam, you'll notice that the leaf can continue to hang. It's like a magic trick. What you can see very close, if you look closely, are little silky strands that run through the veins that connect the leaf together. If you tug too hard, they will eventually fall apart, but makes for sort of an interesting identification tool and a fun trick. Here's a general form of gray dogwood. You can see, as I mentioned, more of a bush uh, shrub form depending upon how it's pruned, which means you would have many stems, usually fairly small, less than an inch in diameter is fairly typical.